uh, while you're with us, tell us about MMFSL as well, Mahindra Mahindra Financial Company. Well, you know, last quarter, Lata, what stood out about M&M Finance and the reason that stock uh, really reacted positively to its numbers was because of the improvement that we saw in the gross NPLs, which improved around... 8% versus 10% on a Q1Q basis. So from Q3, 10% to 8% in Q4. So this quarter, the sustainability of that will be closely watched because one key thing that we know about m and Finance is the volatility that we've seen in the earnings for multiple quarters. So that will be the key factor to watch out for whether they can manage, manage to sustain their gross NPLs or not and what the impact of the monsoon would be in terms of the business when it comes to disbursements, etc. In terms of the NII, however, we're working with a growth of around 13 odd percent. It would be similar to what they did last quarter, which was around 13 odd percent. The profit, again, is expected to spike up quite considerably on the back of a low base as well. 89 crores is what they did in the same time last year, which was a decline quite sharply of around um, uh, 40 percent odd. So we are expected to see that bounce back to around 145 odd crores. So overall, again, asset quality would be top of mind. But... Uh, and whether they sustain in terms of uh, any lack of volatility in the numbers. All right. Uh, thanks so much.